Hello, my name is Maria. I will be doing a demo for adult art course today. Uh, what you will need? Well, this is a class where you learn to mix uh, the color, the way you, the way you see it. Uh, so you will need some basic colorful objects, fruits, uh, some white background for them, cardboard you will paint on, a bucket with water, paper towel, a pencil to draw the outlines of your object first, eraser to erase the unwanted lines, and then two brushes, one with pointy tip, one with flat um, tip um, of uh, some medium size. Um, okay, uh, and of course uh, you will need uh, paint, acrylic paint, um, squeeze out in a circle, and you will be mixing in the middle. Uh, pretty much all colors of the spectrum. Let's start. I'm I'm sketching my fruit um, very lightly and I'm trying to uh, keep it in the middle of my cardboard. It's important that I have control over position of my uh, drawings from day one. So this is an approximate size. This is how uh, long it is comparing to how tall it is. And um, I never press too hard so I can always erase. This is where my lapenia is going to be. Now I can define the outlines. And I'm starting painting it. I'm looking at the color and I'm asking myself, what two colors on my plate are the closest to the one I see? Well, uh, we can say this black and then a little bit of emerald. Let's mix them together and see what we get. All right, we mix some color. Clearly, it's not exactly the color that we want. Um, next step is asking, what is that color different from the color that I have? That color has a little bit more um, of brown in it, light yellowish brown. So I'm adding some yellow ochre to it. And I'm adding it on the side so I can always step back, go back to the previous color that I had if I ruin it. Always add adjustment on the side. And the closer you get to the desired color, the less you add, right? So this looks pretty much like what I want. And do not forget to add water because um, without water, your brush will be making very fluffy um, and even strokes. All right, so I'm always pointing the tip of my brush at the line I'm outlining. This way I can control it very well. I'm also holding my brush closer to the tip um, and I can rest my hand while drawing. Once I'm done with the outlines, I can color it inside. And I'm now adding a little bit more of yellow because I see it there. The top part is darker. I'm adding some black and brown to it. And probably even some opposite color red. You know, red is opposite to green, yellow is opposite to purple, and blue is opposite to orange. If you want to neutralize um, your green, like your green is too intense, you can add an opposite color to it. 
and if you want to make your color even more colorful then you can put an opposite color next to it they will make each other more active by being put next to each other okay now i'm mixing the stem color the stem is warmer right um so i used my previous mixture of green and i'm adding some warmer yellow and even a little bit of white I'm using the very tip of my brush. See, when I hold it as if I'm sticking it into paper, I can control it very, very well. Line is a projection of my brush. So when I use a pointy tip, I can make a very thin line, right? Now we need to add a highlight. Highlight is reflected light. This is a pretty glossy object. I would say I see a little bit of emerald color in it. And I will start from just um, a flat stroke where I want to see my highlight. But then I will make my brush less wet and I will make sure that there is a very thin layer of paint on it. Thin and kind of dryish. And I will rub and spread this highlight around so it will have a very soft touch with the rest. Of my Calapena paper. Um, one more thing, um, three-dimensional objects have a lot of reflections of um, surrounding objects in the sides, right? Um, flat object has very defined, it's like cut out of the background, but three-dimensional object uh, like this Calipania will have some background reflected in it. So it will be a little bit of... Um, grayish emeraldish color pretty much everywhere where this calapena pepper is touching the background over here then a little bit here top and i want to Make some darker accents now. Um, I see some near the stem and on top of the stem. Last thing I will do, I will make some um, gray color for the shadow. I see a little bit of purple in it. And this is where it will be. Um, I don't want my shadow be very defined on the edges. I want it a softer, some softer integration with the background. And also there is a little bit of darkness right under the object where my object is touching the cardboard, right? Because light really can't get under.
Sometimes I use my finger. It's very convenient. Last thing I will do, I will add a little bit of texture. And see, I'm using the very tip of my brush again. You don't have to do it. It's optional. I just like these little cracks. All right. Thank you for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and please start painting your fruits now. Bye.